cross is risen. Today is Resurrection Sunday. The whole world is in a lockdown, uh, but Christ is risen. And for the very first time, uh, natural Israel is in a lockdown. They've been celebrating their Passover uh, as they look back to God's deliverance uh, of their forefathers from Egypt into the promised land. And us as the Christian church, we are in a lockdown, but we are looking to what Christ Jesus did for us, redeeming us from the power of sin, from Satan. And to us, we are looking to a master who died uh, and was buried and he rose up again and he is alive today. So we may be in a lockdown worldwide, but Jesus is alive. And I want to encourage you that Jesus is alive. Cry out to him, repent if you don't know Jesus, and accept him as your personal savior. Because what we are seeing today is a fulfillment of prophetic scriptures. God bless you, even as we will pray a little bit later, and we'll pray for God to touch you and to touch and to comfort even those who have lost their loved ones because of this virus that has hit the whole world. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. I will hand you over to, to Jenny because uh, I need to play something. You still I know, I think that would be a good one. They still I know that I am God. I am the Lord that healeth thee. Hallelujah. Your power, who 
Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Just lift him up. Just lift him up. Just praise him. Just praise him. You are a mighty God. You are a God who deceives to be praised, to be worshipped, to be adored, to be magnified. We thank you, Lord, that this is the day you have made and we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Lord, that Jesus is alive. Hallelujah. He was dead, but he is alive. And we give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. In Jesus' name. Well, praise God. Praise God. God is a good God. And um, we are in a, a, a lockdown. God is not locked. God is with us. Praise God. And what is happening now has happened before. Hallelujah. Um, I'll, I'll hand over to Jenny again because I want to read something to you. My wife had seen something on the internet and gave it to me. And this is what it says. Notices hereby given that in order to prevent the spread of Spanish influenza, all schools, public and private, churches, theaters, moving picture halls, pool rooms, and other places amusement, and lodge meetings, are to be closed until further notice. All public gathering consisting of 10 or more are prohibited. Um, D.W. Sutherland, Mayor, uh, Kello, Wiener, B.C., I think B.C., that is British Columbia, and uh, this is now 19th of October, 19. 18. Okay, so my wife uh, gave me this from uh, uh, Facebook. She found it on Facebook and gave it to me and I said that there is no coincidence. And um, what we, we're discovering is that what's happening now has happened before. And it is going to happen again. But God is, is, a, is a good God. Yes, and as we have heard, we are in a lockdown, but God is not in a lockdown. And, uh, and the word of God is not bound. We can still pray. And we have seen that a church is at its strongest when uh, there is restrictions. When there's been restrictions, the church has been so strong. And from uh, last week, my heart has really been uh, looking at the, the exodus of the children of Israel from Egypt, uh, the, 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 especially the first Passover. Uh, God told them to put uh, blood of the lamb that was killed on the doorpost because the death angel was going to pass by. And the scripture says, when I see the blood, I will pass over. And that has been on my heart. Uh, and that has encouraged me. Uh, it's interesting that right now, even Israel is in a lockdown. Hallelujah. I learned a long time ago that there is a parallel in everything. In the natural as well as in the spiritual. And also, we know that Israel is God's time clock. Uh, for the end times, when you see something happening in the natural Israel, you look at what's happening in spiritual Israel, that is the church of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I have read and heard for the first time uh, in the history of the Passover, Israel is in a lockdown and only families are allowed to celebrate the Passover. Uh, and this is what is happening all over. 
So with the Jews, they are celebrating the Passover from deliverance in Egypt. But to us, it's a deliverance from, sin, from the power of sin and from the devil himself. We are also meeting just as a family. But God is with us. Hallelujah. And to us, we are also celebrating of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. So there is no need for fear for, every, for anything. What has happened before is happening now and, my, and will happen again on, in, a, uh, in a bigger way. It's only now the whole world is in a lockdown because uh, we have the internet. The news is traveling faster than it traveled in 1918. Well, briefly, what has the Lord been saying to you uh, 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 in the past week? Huh. Um, what you and Sister Jenny are at in Exodus 12. And very interestingly, this is the first time, as we know, in the history of Israel, since 3,000 years ago that they came out from Egypt under the reign and tyranny of uh, Pharaoh, which was a picture of, um, of the enemy and over the constraints of the enemy. So 3,000 years later, we are in lockdown, but it's not just the children of Israel, as you said, Brother Larson, it's all the world, as Sister Jenny found that extract of the, from the internet from that time of the Spanish flu. Yes, yes. And it's like the Father has said again, I will shut down everything that will be shut. I will shake the heavens once more. Even unto institutions will be shaken. Even church houses will be shaken. For I am a jealous God. And it's like all the idols of the land has fallen and fallen and fallen and fallen. They, they, this is a season, particularly in this nation, and I know in America as well, where basketball starts up. We're here in Australia that our uh, football starts up, our football leagues in the various codes. And we just see that the hand of the Lord has allowed this plague and pestilence to take place. But our hearts and our prayers are with the medical team, hearts and prayers with them, as well as those that are affected and infected by coronavirus, as well as others who have the fear of, uh, of contracting that. But may, the, may, may uh, Malachi 4 be reigned true that the sun um, of righteousness shall arise with healing in his wings to turn back the hearts of the children to the Father. Amen. The heavenly Father. And just on this day, I just want to read the extract from Luke 24 just quickly. And it said, I'm saying in verse 7, it says, The Son of Man, Jesus speaking, the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified and on the third day rise again. And again, it, it jumps over to verse 44, and it says, Then he said to them, These are the words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms concerning me. And he opened their understanding that they might comprehend the scriptures. Then he said to them, Thus it is written, and thus it is, was necessary for the Messiah, the Christ, to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remissions of sins should be preached in his name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Amen. And who are witnesses of these things? Behold, I send the promise of my Father, of my father upon you but tarry in the city of jerusalem until you are endued with power from on high and we know in acts 2 that that power from on high has come in the name of the whole in the name of the lord by his holy spirit so that's just something i just want to share praise, praise god praise god praise god well jenny you uh Obviously, the Lord has been speaking to you, and it may be something on a different note. What has the Lord been saying to you, uh, especially this past week from last Sunday as, as we met? Which, which passage of scripture or, uh, or, or what has the Lord been saying to you? I think as for me, uh, Isaiah 53 has come out uh, so strongly. 
uh, during uh, this uh, lockdown. Uh Jenny, you shared a scripture verse. Can you just share with us the scripture verse that uh, uh, you felt the Lord gave to you? Well, I just had uh, uh, the words, uh, he was cut off from the land of the living. And uh, as uh, we all know, that is uh, from Isaiah 53 and a uh, part of uh, this eight. Uh, talks about he, Jesus uh, prophesying, Isaiah prophesying about uh, Jesus being cut off from the land of the living. And uh, as I was thinking about uh, the time that uh, we are living in during this pandemic, a lot of people are feeling like uh, they are cut off from the land of the living. And they feel isolated, uh, they feel lonely. And uh, I, can add, I can tell you, brothers and sisters, uh, we may be in a lockdown. But uh, the gates of uh, heaven are not in a lockdown. Uh, heaven is open 24-7. And uh, borders may be closed. But the border to heaven is not uh, closed. You can get through to God anytime, wherever you are. Whether you feel like uh, being cut off. Or you feel like uh, you are so alone. Uh, God is still with us. He has said, Lord, I am with you to the very end of the age. Amen, amen. God bless. Amen. God. And we'll be having communion just just now, and that is a very fitting passage of scripture uh, to read. He was bruised for our iniquities, but our chastisement for our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we were healed. By his wounds, we are healed. Hallelujah. plan to sing that but it just came up praise God well God is a good God we're gonna have a, just a quick prayer to pray for ourselves for our loved ones to pray for the nations of the world to pray for Israel to pray for Trump to pray for uh, Boris Johnson thank God that he God is touching him praise God and to pray for the Prime Minister uh, of Australia uh, uh, Scott Morrison and for the leaders of the world. Hallelujah. Well, sister, you lead us again there. Just so for a quick prayer. Uh, and uh, we will also pray here and wrap off this uh, little short time and informal time of worship. Praise Thank God. You, Lastly, let's uh, sing because he leaves. I can face tomorrow. I didn't plan it this way, but God is good. Hallelujah. Because he lives, I can fast tomorrow. Because he lives, oh fear is gone. Because I. Yeah.
pray for all those who are not with us today and even for those who will listen to this later on. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. God bless you, sister, and your family. Thank you. Yes. Well, God bless you, and uh, we'll catch up with you some other time. And okay. yes. Keep ha- safe. Keep safe, yes. Stay home. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. No. Amen. 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 Bye bye. God bless. Bless you. Bye bye.